After a student gives a class presentation, I'll sometimes conduct a quick poll. I'll ask the entire class, hey, on a scale of 0 to 10, how nervous did the speaker appear? Now, the audience or the class might give the speaker a 2 or a 3, but the speaker? The speaker might rate themselves a 7 to a 9, and that's a pretty big gap in perception. This perception gap is wrapped up in a cognitive bias called the illusion of transparency. And here's an example of how this illusion of transparency works. Let's say you believe others know exactly how nervous you are. They all know you're a giant fraud, you're faking your confidence, and they know this just by looking at you. Well, that's your illusion of transparency talking. But guess what? It's an illusion. It's not real. My informal classroom poll lines up with a 2003 study published by Savitsky and Gilevich. The title of their study is The Illusion of Transparency and the Alleviation of Speech Anxiety. It was published in the Journal of Experimental Social Psychology. The reality is that other people have a hard time decoding your feelings. If your audience had to guess, they're likely to rate you as more confident than you would rate yourself. So, while a public speaker might be thinking, I'm a nervous wreck and everyone knows, the audience might be thinking, wow, that speaker is enthusiastic. And it's important for speakers to know about this illusion of transparency because this tiny bit of knowledge can actually help you become a better speaker. And here's why. If you didn't know about the illusion of transparency, you might feel nervous, sure, but you'll also assume everyone in the room thinks so too. And this cognitive bias can make you feel even more nervous because it makes you meta-nervous. And meta-nervous is when you're nervous about being nervous. See how that works? The illusion of transparency sets you up for this downward spiral of nervousness. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy and it can make you feel increasingly anxious. But here's the great news. Now that you know about the illusion of transparency, you are in a better position to cope with your public speaking anxiety because Savitsky and Gilevich, they found when they informed speakers about this particular cognitive bias right before a speech, speakers presented with more confidence. So now that you know about the illusion of transparency, you can just say to yourself, hey, it's my cognitive bias talking. It's not real. I might feel nervous, but so what? No one else can tell. And that tiny bit of knowledge can help make you feel more confident. You can relax and deliver a more compelling presentation. And bonus, now that you know about this illusion of transparency, be sure to share this knowledge with a friend or a colleague, because chances are you'll feel even better when you help someone else gain confidence as a public speaker. So instead of this downward spiral of nervousness, help create an upward spiral of increased confidence. Share this video with somebody you know that might be a nervous public speaker.